So here's a quick update onto my jumping project account. since I have been needing a lot of resources really and farming is an issue because it takes a while to farm you only have you know one two marches really I've got one that is actually building flag in here and um, we're not really going to be staying in this kingdom we're going to be migrating again um, using passport pages so that is the plan of the group so I I've seen some people actually burning in here and um so I've seen some cities in here burning like this one. So you know what I've realized is that, you know, I, I need to get a lot of resources. So this is one of the fun parts of being in the beginning. In the very beginning stage, the consequences is very low, right? The reward is high. So if you're starting out fresh into the game, you're doing your jumping project in your initial jumping server before you use your beginner's teleport, once you're not yet city hall level eight you cannot really attack other players i was actually attacked i don't know if i saved it but i was actually attacked and you know i actually won the defense so what the heck is going on here okay now that we're in the jumped kingdom all right so we've used a beginner's teleport we've gone past city hall level eight we're working towards to you know higher you know technology we've got t2 unlock we're trying to get into t3 next so i i need resources to keep this going, you know, of course, I need speed ups as well, but resources plays a major role. Now, if you see, you know, there are players that are stacking with a lot of resources that can be plundered, definitely take it out. So I just saw this guy, Rapa Paris 24, has a lot of resources to be plundered. <laughs> I am going to take that resources. So as you can see, I have my troop here now. This is Zun 2. I have Zun 2 and Ilji. These are my primary and secondary commander. I'm going to march it towards here. You don't want to directly march it because that will notify the player. If you scout it, they might get notification. But if you just scout it once, it's potentially that they might not be able to really see it. So right now, we're just sneaking in here. We're going to steal all that resources. Um, I'm very excited because this is the fun part about this. Like I said, high reward, low risk in here. We're, we're gonna raid this um you know my troop right now is mainly infantry and then i put some siege in there to fill it up all right so since we are still like at a very low stage in here um you know you can definitely do what i'm doing right now all right so we're just gonna raid it all right we're definitely gonna win i'll be surprised if i lose all right so there we go i'm gonna raid this one it's a joan of arc oh boy see that's easy that's easy like that's taking a lot of resources victory i have now conquered it this is part of the game this is a war game and you gotta enjoy doing this so we're doing this right now is that we're trying to loot players so big mistake for this player is to have a lot of resources um, available right a lot of resources available to be looted so well we've just gained a significant amount of uh resources and we're gonna save this in here just so we can you know refer that in the future so my biggest tip and biggest advice for everyone who's actually starting out into the game don't use your tiles so these are the tiles are called tokens your resource tiles your resource token do not use them because when you use them players like me if i see them i'll be able to plunder them so that's what actually i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna plunder um players in here and i can keep continuing on building in here so i'm gonna go and make some make some more troops since uh since i have raided him i'm gonna make more tier two troops and we're gonna come back and raid that another round because i think there's another round for it so that is absolutely nice right so that's going to give us some extra resources so once this troops comes back We'll get more from there so if you are new to the game i want you to keep in mind and understand that siege 
um, here actually holds a lot of load. So the best thing to do is click this eye icon and you can see that load is 22 and you can click to the you know infantry. You can actually, uh, let me see, you can actually go here and you can see that the load is 11. So the next big, bigger load carrier is actually the infantry. And then I think it might be calves next, then archers. So let's take a look. Oh, I can't take a look into that one, but you can definitely take a look. So archers is eight. So infantry is the next biggest load for what I remember. Um, This is nice. By the way, this is my jumping account. If you guys are curious where my main account is, my main account is right here in 1412. So this is my main account in here. All right, we got a little pictures in, of Chai there. And um, this is my current stats for my main account. So the key thing that I'm looking in here, I'm trying to find players that, you know, they, maybe they don't have an alliance because like this guy doesn't have an alliance. There's no repercussion for that. Um, maybe I'll scout somebody who has an alliance too that is not really that strong as well. So that we can, it's kind of like bullying at the same time. But hey, if you're holding that much resources, so this guy has some strong allies. Maybe I'll avoid it because I don't want issue um, with their team. So yeah, so like you can see that they're they're building of you know a fortress there. So we might actually avoid that one. But I'm still curious how juicy the resources is for that player. So I'm gonna go and march back in here. We'll bring, you know, we'll clear this out and we'll bring swordsmen, warriors, and of course, some battling ram to loot up resources. So I'm going to send this scout here. I'm going to send that since it's already close. All right. There's no resource to be plundered, which is unfortunate. So this guy is not really online. And uh, what the heck is this name? Oh, my goodness. Um, Some weird names from the game. All right, so let's take a look. We still got about, uh, oh, okay, one more loot. That's pretty much one more loot. So we're going to loot that one more time. And this guy actually has some resources, but it might not be worth it. Oh, actually 1.4 million, 81K units. Yeah, so that will be challenging for me to fight because I only have about 32K. Um, so I, I'm not going to attack this guy who is like, you know, 350, you know, 346K more powerful than me. Um, but we're just going to like scout who else might be, you know, packing with some resources in here. So always check the alliance, see how strong they are. If there's something, you know, relatively weak can definitely just plunder. Right. So now we're moving closer. This is Zun 2. Um, you know, good commanders that I want to suggest to you definitely get Zun 2. Zun 2 is a very good commander. Get that first skill maxed right away. Get it to five. Because, um, you know, you can actually just lock it regardless, but get that to five. You can unlock these two skills and do a skill lock, right? Um, get that to five and then try to get the third one right away as you can. So, you know, you can just do is unlock, you know, two and three. Uh, having that primary skill will allow you to hit really, really hard um, because that's the active skill. And um, you can see that if Zen 2 have this at the max level, it will be 450 damage factor, additional damage factor of 150, and you gain rage, uh, 50 rage per additional target. So in the very beginning, these are huge, huge damage, right? Now, it might be not as much in a later stage once everybody have more better commanders, having that legendary commanders. But in the early stages, this is definitely a very deadly commander. So currently, um, I mean, I mean, honestly, Zun 2 is a very long-term value for the free-to-play low spender uh, as of a commander. In this new account, the intention is to play as a free-to-play, meaning that we're not going to spend, meaning I will never, you know, have Minamoto in here. Um, another thing is that make sure that you're really grinding for, uh, for, you know, for your account. All right. So now we're going to raid this again. All right. We're going to raid this again. We're going to loot all of that. So, so sorry, buddy. You should not have been, you should not have been keeping all of that resources there. So victory, that was easy. And we've got that. We got 19 dead. So key thing in here as well, when you are attacking players city, you will have deads. So let's take a look at how much losses I have in here. 210. And what have died, right? Mostly for my um, T1s. And uh, that's going to be my sling. Uh, that's going to be my warriors. 
and then my battering ram, and then a few of the swordsmen. So Zun 2, uh, my talent tree here, is actually going to go straight for Rejuvenate. Um, the active skill in here, if you guys don't notice it yet, um, since you are new, and since this is a video for new players, we're going to try and attack this Barbarian right now. And I'm going to show you how the rage is being accumulated. Um, by the way, as well, when you start attacking players or scouting players or maybe scouting enemy buildings, you're also going to have this thing called War Frenzy. So if you don't know what War Frenzy is, we're going to try and scout this. And as you can see, we will have this War Frenzy information in here. You can click more and you can actually see a little bit more information for it. So the higher the level of your city becomes, the longer this duration will be. Now, you have to be very, very careful, all right? Because when you have War Frenzy, you cannot use Peace Shield. So here's a little bit of information. Attacking or scouting other governor city, resource points, wild troops, Passes, holy sites, or alliance building will cost the city to enter the war frenzy state. During this state, all troops attack will be increased, but the peace shield will be disabled. So it'll be disabled and you cannot apply peace shield until your war frenzy is over. All right, so here's the thing. Let's say you get attacked, you get rallied. All right, rally is another option in here in the game. You might have, a, you know, wonder what this button is. You can rally players. That means other players are going to join you. And when they do join you, you're going to have this one stack of, you know, army. And it's going to just attack the uh, target with the whole stack of the army with your allies. Now, if somebody is targeting you with a rally, that's going to hit you really hard. Uh, or if somebody is swarming you, or you're, if you have the War Frenzy state, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot use your Peace Shield. That means you cannot protect yourself. So you need to be very, very careful with the war state that you are actually in. So now we're gonna attack this level eight. You're gonna see the active skill, All right? You're gonna see this bar, this yellow bar or yellow circle dots. As it fills up, that is your rage and it will cast the active skill. So the active skill zone two is right here, boom. You see that little fireball right there? That was the active skill zone two. And then the icy one is coming from EOG. So as you, uh, as you return your troops home, you will then receive the loot that you have obtained from the opponent. So there we go. As it goes back home, you can see that we have now obtained the resources. So every time that you defeat barbarians, by the way, you are getting some kill rewards. So make sure that you are actually using your action point recovery. All right. So make sure that so just make sure that you're always using your action point as it recovers. Do not let it sit maximize it another thing that i want to give you an advice as well is that when you see lohar's trial this is the time where you can obtain lohar this is a commander that's going to help you out really well in upgrading your commanders so get lohar uh defeating barbarians with him it will be much easier as the barbarians get stronger and for you to really get lohar you will have to summon him so by opening these bone necklaces you're going to be able to get some Lohar Buckler and Lohar Longbow, and you will be able to rally these, and you're gonna be able to get some Lohar Sculptures. So besides that, the jumping project is really doing well. We're doing some, you know, a lot of scouting and a lot of uh, grinding in here, just trying to get as much, you know, progress as we can, targeting to be 1 million uh, before we do the migration. So really that resources that we just looted is definitely going to be very, very beneficial for us. So a few things in here that I want to say, you will need to use your speed ups. So I have been using the speed ups to kind of run through this as much as I can, as fast as I can. Um, the big thing, the target for me is trying to get into T4 right away, um, at least to get T3 as soon as possible. So we're trying to really push this. So we're now going to upgrade um, the Academy to 10. Once we've upgraded Academy to 10, right, in 30 minutes, actually, I can just go ahead and finish this up since I don't have the patience for it. All right, now we'll do the Academy to 10. And then we're going to definitely, you know, try to get that T3 right away. And uh, we don't want to stay too long in T2 and create so many T2. You want to get into T3. You want to get into T4. And then once you get into T4, that's the stage where you kind of rest a little bit because trying to get into T5 will take you forever. Um, once you're into T4, you make a lot of troops in there, right? So you don't wanna stay too long on T1, you don't wanna stay too long in T, T2 or T3. Get into T4 as fast as you can, 
and make troops from there. And then you can just kind of go back and fill up whatever uh, leftover research that you did not finish. But the key thing is for you to start producing these tier of troops. All right, so we're going to attack this base right now. It's got some good resources. Oh, boy. Let's see. Let's have Zun 2 attack there first. And then we'll have this to pick. Oh, we'll have this to piggyback. I don't want to have unnecessary death of T1. Let's take a look. We're going to start to, once this last skill hit, boom. All right, let's now attack. Take some, take some loots in here. Take some loots. Mm, boy. All right. We've got some juicy, juicy loots. Juicy loots. Okay, that will help me out because I'm really low on wood. Oh, he's sending his other other uh he's sending his other uh <laughs> Oh I'm gonna loot him more. Is he? Oh boy. Did he just send it back? Is that extra resources that I can take? Oh man, am I gonna die here? So I made sure that I'm now in the AoE area. Oh boy. I might have outdid myself here, guys. It might be too much. But I think I'm still going to loot him. I don't even care if I lose troops. This is like so early into the game. Oh, man. He went from, okay, 100k. All right, so he had uh, gone down to power. Let's see if we can loot a little bit more. I don't know if I've already filled up my capacity, though. <laughs> oh, boy. It's so fun. This is so fun. Victory. What did we get? Defeat an army of Zun 2. Okay, we got some slight... All right, some slight amount of resources was looted because he sent it back. Okay, I'm heading back home now. <laughs> oh, boy. I love this. This is so fun is just a little bit of a short update here for our jumping project but uh, hopefully you guys are very interested to see what's next for this one we are actually in this dynamis um allegiance so definitely follow us on uh you know on here subscribe if you're new if you're from this group subscribe because we're going to upload more and uh, follow our TikTok as well. Just Shinchi42 on TikTok. We do upload there. It's just much faster to upload from there. It is going to be definitely something that you will be very interested in. All right, rockers, thank you guys for watching. I will see you again next time.